Is your food getting cold because you want to take pictures of it before eating it? Come on, we all do it. And before you judge these foodie photographers, you may want to consider they're more your allies than your enemies. Find out why in this episode of The Secrets, Secrets of, of the, the Kitchen, kitchen Masters. Masters. Some people, chefs included, might not appreciate the act of taking a photo before enjoying their meal. But the thing is, pictures posted online create a lot of interest. That's why we have to make sure food looks good for the camera. What should we consider when plating a la carte dishes? To illustrate, we have four lovely dishes. Lapu-lapu with pastis and citrus notes. Beef strip with mushrooms and chai potatoes. And we've got a beautiful poached salmon with fennel and dill and a roasted duck with plums and sunchokes. Composition is about managing the plate. We have to make sure that all of the items on the plate has to work well together. All of the flavors have to be combined in such a way that everything works and binds and makes sure that the diner will experience perfection. The weight has to be equal. In this case, I made a lapu-lapu, which is my protein. And in that protein, it's very delicate in flavor, so I want to accentuate this one with a bit of tomatoes. Tomatoes giving a bit of sourness. My sauce is made from celery, and it gives a bit of sweetness in there. Also, a smokiness effect comes from the saffron potatoes. Color is very important when plating. Understanding the right combinations on the color palette can create a very inviting meal. Here with this, we've used a nice pink salmon, lightly poached so we haven't changed the color. And I've pickled some red onions to bring out that pink. I've also added some white elements to the dish just to contrast those different colors. Style is very important on the plate. Modern plating techniques require us to be simple, straightforward, thus making the plate look much more elegant. In this case, I have my potatoes in the middle in one straight line. My beef is presented on the side. The sauce is not masking the beef, it's on one side. And the garnishes shouldn't be scattered on the plate. Everything is just composed properly, making it simple. Shapes also help elevate a dish. Using different cuts can create something intriguing for the customer to see. As you can see here with the plums, I've cut them at different angles, so they're at different levels and create something spectacular. Adding texture to your dish will definitely improve flavor and also presentation. Crunchiness coming from my tomatoes. I have a nice smooth sauce that gives you a velvety feel. Potatoes also speak for itself because it makes it a bit creamy. All in all, this dish has all of those textures. When you combine it together, it not only makes it look good, but definitely it brings out the flavor because you want to hear and feel that crunch in the end. Plates also add to the presentation of the dish. As you can see here, I've used a cracked glass plate. Slightly off-white adds to the tones to the dish. And for the salmon, I used a very flat white plate, creating clean lines and symbolizing a nice peaceful dish. Garnishes will definitely make your plate look nice and fresh. But definitely, everything you put on the plate, it has to be edible. I garnished this one with some goto cola leaves. It has a nice acidic flavor and works really well with fish. Always remember, you should never overdo your garnishes. In the end, it might just ruin your dish. Last but not least, maintaining cleanliness when plating is extremely important. Make sure you place your ingredients in an orderly fashion. Avoid putting too much sauce. If you need to, serve the sauce on the side. And one of the utmost difficult things that you need to look out for is fingerprints. Always clean the rims of the plate. To summarize, there are eight points to consider when plating a la carte dishes. Composition, color, shape, style, texture, plates, garnishes, and cleanliness. It's all about having fun. Add some personality to those dishes. And when you see your guests and customers take photos of them, take it as a compliment. So make that first impression count. It will definitely be to your advantage. Those are the secrets of the Kitchen Masters. Thank you.